A revolutionary approach to health care, meanwhile, is being launched in the African country of Rwanda. Drones developed by Silicon Valley engineers are now being used to drop urgently needed medical supplies to isolated areas. That dramatically reduces the wait for patients in need in the remote west of the country. Deborah Pata is just outside the Rwandan capital of Kigali. Deborah, good morning. Good morning. Dubbed the country of a thousand hills, we are in a remote rural part of Rwanda. The roads here are extremely poor and often become impassable during the rainy season, which makes access to basic health care really difficult. And that is where this remarkable drone technology comes in. The sight of a drone hurtling across Rwandan skies usually inspires fear on the African continent. It's regarded as an instrument of death. But instead of destroying lives, this drone is here to save them. What this represents is an opportunity, A, to leapfrog over the absence of roads and provide you know, first world level medical care to every single person in the country, regardless of where they live. Actually, this has way fewer moving Keller costs. Renardo is the co-founder of Zipline, a California-based tech company that uses engineers with experience at companies like NASA and Boeing. Clear for takeoff, Zipline 2-2. To build and develop drones capable of accessing remote areas, dropping blood instead of bombs. Half of the 65,000 units of blood currently delivered by road each year are used in life-saving transfusions for women who lose too much blood during childbirth. Dr. Kajigami Eskwa tells us that in his rural hospital, it can take hours for the blood to arrive. The forward-thinking Rwandan government wants to change this and is the first African nation to sign up with Silicon Valley to bring cutting-edge technology to a country that's infrastructure is far more third world in places. From this distribution center, we can serve thousands of health workers and doctors. And for those individuals, the experience of the system is super simple. Send a text message, receive the product you need to save a patient's life. Each package is placed into a cardboard box attached to a paper parachute, then secured onto the drone before heading off on its life-saving mission using GPS coordinates. This flight took a mere five minutes to deliver blood to a clinic that is 33 miles from the nearest blood bank. The launch of the Zipline drones today puts Rwanda on the cusp of a technological revolution that could ultimately turn around its healthcare services and see similar projects launched across the continent. Nora? Deborah Pata in Rwanda, thank you. It is amazing to think that that can Absolutely. save so many lives and That's use technology in that way. Incredible to see that, and, and good for everybody involved. Mm -hmm.